Well, each day brings new information about COVID-19 and in particular the Omicron variant. And with it come new questions from our sharp local four viewers. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here to answer more of those inquiries that have been submitted to us through ClickOnDetroit.com. Doc. A viewer asks, I am mandated by my employer to get a PCR test. I also have an appointment to receive my booster dose the day before. Will this booster dose affect my PCR test at all? Should I postpone my booster for a week later? The answer is no. The booster will not impact your PCR test or a rapid test, and you do not need to postpone your booster. Now here's some more of your questions. Brent asks, if the new variant is not as deadly, why will hospitalizations increase? It's a super important distinction that you're making. Just because Omicron doesn't kill as many people that become infected doesn't mean it won't make lots of them sick enough to need hospitalization until they recover. In fact, when you look at current data, that's basically what we're seeing. Hospitalizations are increasing with the spike in new cases, but ICU admissions, the people most likely to die, aren't going up as quickly. Now, Carol is wondering, face shields were recommended when the idea of wearing face covering first came up, but why has nothing been said since? Well, the recommendation behind face shields was made at a time before masks were widely available. Given the superior protection of masks, the CDC does not recommend face shields as a substitute for masks. Now, another viewer writes, My 13-year-old son received his booster shot on a Saturday and then tested positive for COVID on Wednesday. Will his booster still be effective or will he need to retake his booster at a later date? First, I just want to make sure there's no confusion. The booster is not related to him testing positive four days later. The booster will have the same effect and it does not need to be retaken. I would add, as a silver lining of sorts, the infection will also boost his immunity even further. Now, finally, a viewer asks, the day I was going to get my first shot for COVID, I came down with it. I got the antibody citrovimab on November 2nd. When can I get my vaccinations? We need to know so we can protect ourselves. Okay, so because you received monoclonal antibodies, you should wait 90 days before being vaccinated. Now, one thing that might reassure you, though, is that you most likely have at least 90 days of protection from your infection. Back to you.